Hello, it's the Wisdom Dropper here. I've got a little wisdom for your ears today. I'm going to be jumping in a bit of a new territory here and just giving a little bit of wisdom. Uh, uh, marriage wisdom. I was going to say wisdom marriage. I must be a little bit nervous. Um, but yeah, not sure what the wife is going to think about this. Um, but yeah, you know, every relationship's different. Every um, marriage has a, has a unique dynamic. Um, so really, I can just share... Um, wisdom that's kind of worked for me or that has helped me um, in our relationship with me and my wife Summer and um, you know not too many people know um, some of the, the trials and, and difficulties we've been through but um, without going into too much detail probably roughly three years ago you know things weren't too good in our relationship um, you know uh, I like to call this period in our relationship um, the breaking point because that's what it is and I think every every relationship um, is going to go through hard times um, they may or they may not come to a time of relationship which you, you call the breaking point um, where you know something needs to change otherwise um, things are going to end it's going to be over and so you know three roughly three years ago we came to this point in our relationship uh, where we were just uh, looking at the other person to change or or blaming each other um, for what they weren't bringing to the table in terms of our relationship and our family. Um, and it just led to a continuous cycle of back and forth and um, things not changing. Um, and so when you come face to face with this breaking point or towards the end of um, ending things in, in your marriage, um, you kind of kind of come face to face with yourself and make some hard decisions, um, really look in the mirror. Um, so yeah, coming face to face with the breaking point, um, some tough decisions needed to be made. Um, you, you know, you got to figure out what you really want in your life, what priorities really matter. Um, and if it's a family, then, you know, you got to be proactive to change and um, breaking cycles and doing what you are in, what you have control of and making things right. Um, because that's what you have to realise is you can't control anyone else but yourself so why not focus on what you can do what you can bring to the table and give it you know give it everything you have um if it's worth it and um that was the hard decision i had to make and it was a you know a gradual process um you know i started out by just setting three goals a week um towards making my relationship better um real small simple things so yeah, simple things like um, not have an argument with, my, with with Summer for the week. Um, I remember failing that over and over, so I'd put it in the next week. Um, another one was just to do the dishes, um, day dates, um, and things like that. And then after a while, it started becoming habit, and it started becoming um, routine. Um, and things slowly just kind of um, just got better. Like... Um, yeah, it was quite it's quite amazing how things slowly turned around um, with one person in the relationship deciding to be proactive about change. Um, what worked for me was that Summer um, jumped on board and we kind of grew together and realised what we were in control of and focused on ourselves. When we focused on ourselves individually, um, our relation... Um, yeah, so to finish what I was saying, when we decided to grow together and work on ourselves and what we were in control of um, individually when it came together as a couple as a relationship um, it only compounded the growth and things kind of um, grew for there you know we're still far from perfect um, we still have haka practice all the time I mean nowhere near as frequent as in the past um, but there's still a lot of growth ahead but um, I just wanted to share this wisdom because um you know, I've had a lot of people close to me, around me, going through a lot of hard times in their relationship. And this is what I tell them. I just say, you know, what worked for me and what I did. Um, I went about proactively changing what I was in control of. And that's all I can tell people that are going through the struggle. I know every dynamic, every relationship's different. Every dynamic's different. Doing this, what I did, might not work for you. Um, but yeah, just wanted to share it. Um, so yeah, that's my wisdom. Uh, day 10. Um, 
how are, how are you going to react um, coming face to face with the breaking point? Um, you know, you've got to ask yourself that question. What are you going to do? And um, there's a breaking point in marriage. There's a breaking point in, in business and in fitness um, in every area of your life. Um, so, yeah, just think about that and uh, get it, get it.